is up guys welcome back to my channel or if you are new here my name is caitlin i'm so happy that you're here either way i wish that i had a more exciting background for you but this is all i have because i have like a huge window right here so which is really pretty but then it's like majorly backlit so you kind of just get the door and the wall um because i'm in my bathroom and we are gonna go over each skin by kim product so if you haven't seen my initial review um i'll tag it up here somewhere um you can definitely go watch it so i did an initial unboxing and just what i thought right off the bat um, of each product so now i've been using it for like two or three months a good enough period of time where i can actually tell you um if it's like worth it or if it's not worth it so that's the major idea that I want you to walk away with is, are each of these products worth the money? So the big thing with this is that if you have looked up Skin by Kim at all, um, I don't know why I always say Skin by Kim, whatever, Skin. Um, if you've looked it up at all, you will see that um, depending on, everyone has a different um, definition of what affordable is, but it is on the more expensive side of skincare, some of these products. So I'll be kind of just telling you my opinion on whether or not I think it's worth the money and how much that they each cost. So let's get right into it. Let's not waste any time. Um, I'm going to go through each product. Okay. So first product, we are going to be talking about the cleanser. I will say all of them are super sleek and beautiful. They look great on the counter. Um, of course, everyone has different style, but I love this look, the really minimal look. And yeah, I think she just killed it with that. And I love how it's all re like, you can take this out and just get a refill and then keep this super cool concept. Um, I love that part about what she did with her products. So this is, let's see how much this is. I have my phone out here for each product. Um, so the single one of this of the cleanser is $43. Um, it is 4.2 ounces, which I feel like that's a pretty good size. Eh. Actually, the one that I have here from the outside is five fluid ounces. So I think it's just how the bottle looks. Um, but I will say I do think it still is a pretty decent amount of product. Um, but it is $43 and then the refills. So if I were to buy it again and not just and just get like the insert, it would be $37. So it's like a $6 difference. Anyways, um, I will say I do like this cleanser. I like that it's very soft and gentle. It does feel like a little bit of a buttery feel to me. Um, I'm not gonna use it right now on screen because I did that in my previous video. So if you wanna see that, you can go back and watch that. But I do like the consistency of this. It really is gentle. It says foaming purifier. It doesn't foam, <laughs> it never has. So I don't really know what that part is about, but um, now the question is, is it worth $43? In my opinion, it's not. If you have 40, if $43 is like not a big deal to you and like you're just interested in trying it, then yeah, I think it is a good cleanser. I do feel like it gets the job done and it takes away my makeup, etc. And it is really pretty, which is an added bonus if you want the aesthetic situation. Um, but if $43 is a stretch for you, then I would say it's not, it's not worth it. I think there are a lot of other cleansers out there that do a really good job that are way more affordable. So it really is just depending on where you sit financially. I, I just never want to say something is affordable or not affordable because sometimes I see people online being like, this is so affordable. And it's like, I click on it. It's like a hundred dollars. And I'm like, I think we have different definitions here. What's going on? Anyways, so I don't want to say whether or not it's affordable um, or not affor affordable. You know what you're able to do, but I would say if this would be a stretch for you, it's not the most life-changing like face cleanser that I've ever had in my life. So like, I think you can get really good cleansers out there for a lot better price. Um, so yeah, but it also is good. It is good. And if you have the money and you want to try it, I would say that it's been effective for me and I've really enjoyed using it and I love how gentle it is. All right. The toner, um, it looks pretty much exactly the same as the cleanser. Um, and this is an AHA gentle exfoliation cleanser. I do love that it's like an exfoliating toner and it's AHA. Um, it is six fluid ounces and it's $45 for this. Let me see how much the refill is. The refill is $38. So about the same 
as the cleanser. Um, but yeah, it's six fluid ounces, which I do think is a good amount of product. Um, and I do, I mean, I use this every single day. I've been using all of them and I will say I do like it. Now, do I feel like it's just radically changed everything? Like that it's just been, you know what I mean? Like, do I feel like it's life changing? No, I do feel like it does the job. So, you know, that's all it really needs to do is honestly, if it's a toner, it needs to do the job. So I put this on, it really does even out my skin, tone, like not my skin tone, my pH balance. My skin doesn't feel super dry or super oily after it feels really even. So it gets it to that nice, like happy place for my skin. But kind of like the cleanser, if $43 is a stretch for you, I do feel like there are other cleansers out there that can do, you know, the same job, that they can also get the job done that are a little bit more budget friendly. So yeah, it really just depends on where your price point is, but does it do the job? Yes or no? Yes, I do think that it does the job. I really do like using this product, but it's not like supreme above the other AHA toners that I've used, if that makes sense. Okay, next is the exfoliator. Um, really, all of it's cute. I'm gonna say it probably every time, but super cute. It goes, I just like that it's like a different kind of shape. Um, but the question is, is it worth it? <coughs> but the question is, is it worth it? I'll say this, what I love about it. It smells freaking amazing. The only thing is I haven't really fully looked if it's with a fragrance or not. I'm assuming that it is. Um, yeah. So it has fragrance in it. I'm actually not a huge fan of that and don't like to use it on my skin or really anywhere um, because I think it's just, it's like little things in your life. They all are onto something and it all adds up. Is it worth using fragrance to mess up my hormones and all of that? No, it's not for me. That's a different story. Anyways, I wanted to try it though. Um, it does smell amazing, but if you don't like, if you like more natural things and you don't wanna have fragrance or perfume in your stuff, this is not the move for you. Um, but I do like the, it, it really is a gentle exfoliator, which I love. Um, so you do feel like the little beads or whatever it is. So if that is something that you, want or do not want it does have little you can feel the exfoliating situation happening on your skin so i have liked this um it is 55 dollars for 1.6 ounce so you're not getting a ton in my opinion for how much you're paying for but i will say i mean like you don't exfoliate every day you know what i mean so um, this is about how much that I have left. So honestly, I, it's probably my skincare routine has been slacking, you know, for what it usually is. Um, if you want more details, check out my last video. Um, but I've been off my game a little bit. Um, so I've been doing it probably about once a week, but typically you're probably going to be exfoliating like two, maybe three times a week. I don't really, since I have kind of been slacking, I'm not really probably the perfect person to give an accurate representation on how long this will last. Um, so here's the deal. Because personally, I don't like the perfume, I probably won't be repurchasing this. Um, but if I did like, if I didn't mind that, and it's something that I wouldn't mind using every day forevermore, um, I, I don't know. I would say that it is a pretty good exfoliator. Now, it's $55. For 1.6 ounce, see, I'm very much on the fence because again, I just feel like it's not like the supreme holy grail above all exfoliators that have ever happened in this lifetime. You know what I mean? So if $55 is a lot to you, I wouldn't break the bank to go get it, if that makes sense. So again, it's completely up to you what you feel comfortable doing financially. And if $55 is a lot for you to spend on something like this or not, um, but it is, I mean, honestly, there's probably only one product, maybe two that I, I'll, I'll say that I don't think it's worth it at all. Um, but this one, I do think that if, if that is an okay price point for you, it's a good exfoliator. And if you don't mind having fragrance on your face. So let's move on. Oh, and then let me just say the refill amount. The refill is $47. So 
You're saving some, but you're not saving a lot. Okay. Okay, speaking of the products that I am just not, I don't recommend at all, no matter what. The only thing I would recommend getting this product for is if you want the whole set to sit on your counter and make it look pretty, and it's a one-time thing, then that will be the only time where I'm like, yeah, for sure, whatever. Um, but it's the Hyaluronic Acid Serum Plumping Hydration. Um, let me tell you why. This is one ounce and it is $90. I have so many questions, Kim. I love you, Kim. Seriously, love you. But like, what? $90? I know hyaluronic acid is like, you know, a thing and like a big deal for skincare. But I'm telling you, this feels no different than the $6 hyaluronic acid you can get from The Ordinary. Now, obviously I'm not whipping out a microscope and seeing what's actually happening with my skin. Maybe this is doing wonders to my skin on a very small level that I won't see until whenever. But like, I'm telling you, even when I put it on, the aftermath of it, it feels not even a speck different in my own experience from The Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid that I can buy for, I think it's like $6 at Ulta or Sephora or whatever. You know what I mean? So I'm like, what does this even mean? $90? I have so many questions. So many questions. I'm very confused. This is not worth it. Even if you have money to spend, money to drop, go buy the Hyaluronic Acid from The Ordinary. It just doesn't make sense to me that like, I just think that this is way overpriced. Um, and I love hyaluronic acid. It's not about that. And I do think it's worth to spend money to have hyaluronic acid in your skincare routine, but you do not need to buy $90. And again, I don't know all the science. I don't know if one's like way more legit than the other, but feeling wise and aftermath, like seeing my skin and feeling my skin feels literally no different. So I'll stop there, but I will tell you the refill price is $77. I can't roll my eyes hard enough. Makes no sense to me, but I digress. Okay, the vitamin C8 serum. I'm a little torn by this because I do think this is really good. I will say after I used, started using this on my skin, I was at work one day and my husband, this is when we used to work at the same spot, he came in and he was like, your skin looks really good. And I was like, I thank you. It's like the skin by Kim. It's like upping my, you know, like really, it looked like I had glass skin and it really did feel like it was something that um, I hadn't got really from using any other skincare. And I do think it's from two main products in the whole lineup. I think maybe all of them working together really helped me get to that situation. And I will say, I don't feel like it like completely lasted so I don't know what that's about but there was a little bit of time where I had glass skin and it was great and I was living my best life now I feel like I'm kind of just sitting where I usually did um so I don't, I don't know what that means take that and do what you want with it but I do think this vitamin c8 serum was like a really big part in that um just because this and then another product, which I'll show you in a second. I think these ones were really just like doing the most for my skin. They really do. They were doing wonders. Here's where I'm torn. It's one ounce and it's $90. I have a hard time justifying spending $90 on a one ounce of product. Let me tell you something. My favorite skincare brand of all time is Tata Harper. I will say that until the end of time. Do I have Tata Harper? No, because it's super friggin' expensive. I, it's like a luxury thing. Hopefully one day I will be able to just, it will be like nothing to me, you know, to get it. Um, but the reason I do feel like Tata Harper is justified in some of their prices is because Tata herself, like, everything is all natural she has her own farms in vermont and like legitimately grows the best of the best stuff and makes skincare out of it and like the whole thing is just very natural very powerful packed products that are doing great things for your body and skin and etc right so that i can kind of justify like private farms etc i don't know where kim's getting her stuff okay this is really good, but $90 for one ounce is just a little bit like, yeah, it makes my skin look good, but like, 
is it worth that? So this kind of comes down to if you have the money to do it, I would say try this. It really has made my skin very happy. But if you don't have the money to do it, I do think that there are other ways and other products that could probably do maybe just the same. Also, I'm so sorry if I'm like so out of breath. I'm growing a baby and things make me, I just lose breath for no reason. Anyways, if you don't have the money to do that, don't do it. It's just not worth that. It's not like angels are coming around and sweeping your face with angel dust. So just save your money. But if you do have it, it's not a big deal. It is worth it. The refill is $77, just like the hyaluronic acid. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Okay, next, also I'm just going in order um, that her website has it. So there's no other particular order other than that. Um, the eye cream, it's in this small little cute round thing. Half an ounce, $75. See, this is where me and Kim are not on the same page, okay? I know $75 is like a cent to her, not even, um, but for myself and I'm assuming a good amount of people, um, $75 is a lot for half of an ounce of skincare that really, I think the biggest appeal to her skincare is that it looks pretty and that it has her name on it. Um, but there isn't like any factor that to me that's not like like the whole tata harper she has her own farm there's like a huge appeal to me as far as it being all natural and just from just the the farm to the product situation that can justify me spending money on it but like if you're just whipping you know if you're just making half an ounce of product and saying give me 75 dollars for it there's just other brands out there that I've used before that aren't $75 and they feel just as good under my eye and I feel like do the same thing. I don't think this is worth $75. Um, even if you do have the money to do it, like I said, the only way that I would justify it is if you want the whole set to look pretty on your counter. But other than that, I'm sorry, Kim, this is just not worth $75 to me. Next, we have the face cream. Um, it's like a bigger version of the eye cream. This is $85. So, and this is for 1.6 ounce. I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but it's the same thing. It's a good face cream. It makes me feel moisturized. It's, I like the consistency of it. Um, it feels a little bit of a mediocre face cream. Is it worth $85, 1.6 ounce? Mm, no. It's not, and again, that's purely based off price point. If it was half the price, I would say, yeah, maybe. This is actually like a pretty good face cream for 40 something dollars, but at $85, I mean, that's like half of a grocery bill, you know what I mean? So, okay, next is the Oil Drops um, Vita C Glow. This is my other favorite product next to the Vitamin C8 Serum. So I really do like these two products. Here's my problem. It's a one ounce. It's a $95. It's not worth breaking the bank for, but if you have it, I would say this is one of the products that you should try, um, as well as the vitamin C8 serum. So if that is something that's in your comfort zone financially, I would say that these are worth trying. Um, the oil drops and the Vita C Glow, I do feel like it makes my face glow and I do feel like it definitely brightens my skin. So I really have enjoyed trying this product. Um, but like I said, it's one ounce and it's $95. The refill is 81. So it's pretty pricey, I'm not gonna lie to you, but if this is something that you, like I said, you can do, I would say try this one, it's good. And lastly, we have the night oil. Um, actually, let me pull it up, yeesh. So this is one ounce, $95. This is also probably one of my favorite products that she has. I do feel like I'll put it on my face at night and I can feel that hydration soaking in. And then when I wake up in the morning and I splash my face with cold water, I can feel like the softness of my face. But um, $95 to me is a, is a bit much for one ounce when it comes to skincare. And I do think that there are other more affordable, very deeply hydrating oils um, or moisturizers that you can get the same effect. So I hope this was helpful for you and I hope I didn't sound too much like a broken record. I really wanted to break down um, 
each product and kind of give you my honest opinion and just overall I do think that it really just depends on where you are at financially and what you feel comfortable with because some of this this could all just be chomp money to you and others it could be you know like your grocery bill or your gas bill which I totally understand so I'm right there with you um, but I hope this was helpful for you I also have done um, initial reviews and follow-up review with road skincare so if you haven't seen that yet road by Haley Bieber check that out I've also done the outset initial um, which I can go over this with you as well like as far as a follow-up um but i've also done the outset scarlett johansson's brand um so yeah if you have tried skin by kim down below i would love to hear your thoughts and if you haven't already make sure you do subscribe i would love to be your friend and hang out with you throughout the week so thanks so much for watching guys i hope this was helpful and i'll see you next time